Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd do a little bit of a walk around again of the new 2024 11.5 just to give you a better view as to what you're getting. How good is that black on red cut up color blend? I'm absolutely loving this Firefly color. It's a really nice, a really nice blend. Oh yeah, so I might as well start here at the rear of the kayak. And we'll pop down in the rear here you'll see a rudder this is the rudder system that they've got and it is a very large rudder system this rudder turns on a dime it's uh, when you look at locking it left or locking it right it almost feels like you're gliding doing a donut it's just got so much rudder authority so it's a really good design and I love that and then you come up here, you've got this grab handle, really tough and durable, but it's also a multifunctional um, uh, grab handle because you can, you can put things in the tracks here, whether you want to put a, a light or even a flag, etc. It's there ready to go. You've noticed a whole heap of brass inserts by now. And what's great about this is they've always thought ahead of people that want to uh, put an electric motor or a power pole or any other goodies in the rear there where well, they've got a whole heap of different sequences and these sequences are to accommodate different uh, things that are out in the market at the moment so it's pretty much ready like a plug and play system love that the 2024 model comes out with this um, cable system that comes goes through to uh, at, at the front end and that enables you to steer with your foot pedals uh, your electric motors so no longer having all your wiring out the side here and having to you know weave it in and out of things it's actually going internally and it'll go through to an after um, market uh, foot pedal system that you can purchase through Kikes to Fish. It's an optional extra and it enables you to steer your electric motor um, with the foot pedals, which is awesome again. I did mention in the first video that they've upgraded the tracks. What's great about those tracks and I didn't mention is, I'll see if I can focus. You'll notice that the tracks actually have a couple of different levels and those levels accommodate different kinds of um, I, I guess lock nuts so you've got multiple options to use um, with your hardware coming through to the back here you've got an amazingly large water resistant hatch it's on a bit of an angle you'll see that and again designed specifically so that water will not pull, it will just find its way out. Let's get these bungees out of the way. So, nice gasket that surrounds the, the inner and then comes through to the back here. There's a lot of space there for your wiring and batteries um, or you might, you might want to put your, your, um, your tackle boxes, etc. in there. Flush mount, two flush mounted um, rod holders. Yeah, this here, you might be wondering what it is. If you've got one and had it before, basically it's for an optional extra. There's a um, bar rail that you can order through Kikes the Fish, and the bar rail literally comes from here and makes its way all, all, all the way over to here. And then you can actually use that bar to mount a whole heap of awesome accessories on, which something that's coming in the mail and I'm looking forward to introducing to you guys soon. This is the steering arm that I, sh I was talking about the awesome rudder. 
so that's the rudder steering arm so it just goes down and up just to steer in you got your chair here but this is a deluxe chair what I love about this chair is it's very breathable it's got some type of special mesh and the mesh if you were to pinch it has um, it, it's got a cushioning inside of it it's designed to actually have some type of cushioning and um, it's really you know it's nice to sit on and makes it easier it's also breathable as well as if you were to I'll get up close so you can see if you were to go ahead and sit on there with a wet pair of pants it will actually take that water out and it won't sit there and um, keep you wet so it's very very sturdy very durable heavy duty good quality now previous model had these tracks at the rear and at the front you had these little grooves that it sat in and three different optional um, so, um, sizes that you could you could use depending on the length of your legs whereas now it's in the tracks at the front as, as well as the rear and these um, little locking clips that go into there have also the option now to go left and right and that enables it to really sit snug and keep everything fast and tight without having any um, friction or movement Coming around here, you've got the awesome Max Drive, the Mirage Drive equivalent. Yes, so moving on. Coming through to here, you'll find your front hatch. Nice large hatch. Inside, uh, when you pick your kayak up, you'll find it comes with some Kikes to Fish stickers and next gen stickers as well as a warranty card. You'll also get this 360 degree um, rod holder with uh, mounting plates and hardware to fasten it into the tracks and a paddle leash which is pretty sweet. Goes back. So when you pick up your kayak, uh, you'll also pick it up, uh, the Max Drive in this box, brand new. In the box you're going to find that they also offer you an extra pair of fins, just to have there in case you decide to accidentally break your fins, which is great. Um, I've never broken a fin to date, but it's great to know that it's there if you need it. You'll notice I've got that large paddle. That's a floating paddle uh, two-piece system, which is what you get with your kayak. So this is it, guys. This is a 2024 model Next Gen 11.5 in its glory. I've had uh, the 11.5, the previous model, and this one here now for over two years and I've never had a problem with it. But then again, I am very OCD. I like to take care of my gear. Every time I go fishing and come back, I clean it and I lubricate it and make sure that all the nuts and bolts are, are tightened. And as a result of that, I've never ever had a problem with it. And if you have any questions regarding that, don't hesitate to shoot me a comment in the comment sections. I'm always happy to help by offering uh, any advice and feedback and um, yeah anything I can do to help so that's just a quick vid again guys to go over a little bit more of my amazing new kayak go over it one more time if you guys have any questions just ask me happy to spend time explaining and if you're wondering why I do this, I do it because when I purchased my first kayak, uh, the 11.5, there was no videos out there of anyone that wasn't associated with them. And so 
it was hard for me to make my decision because I didn't know if I could trust it because I, you know, had the same ideas. But since there was no videos, I took it upon myself to build a channel based on it because it enables me to let you guys know just firsthand whether or not it's something that's worth looking at. I'm hoping these videos help you and if they do, please like and subscribe so that this kind of content will find its way to others that are in the same position. Anyway, talk to you soon. See you on the next video.